Welcome back everyone, I'm Depressed Eeyore, and this is Final Fantasy VI, yeah that's right. Alright, well, no gal, so what should we do next? Okay, we got Bismarck, Golem, Zone Seek, and Turtouch. Okay, that's good enough for now. Alright, next up. We're going over here. I mentioned something about the uh Opera House. So let's go pay that a visit. Shriek, help, help! Talk to the Impressiaro. Uh, uh, I'm assuming he is in here. Okay, he's not in here. No. Actually, yes, read the score. Nope. Okay, this is the same script. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Skip it. Too bad we didn't get to see scene two, which is nothing but ellipses. Ah, oh, there you are. The dragon is sitting smack in the middle of the stage. Can I see it? Not from here. Don't press the wrong switch, or... You can turn off all the lights. This is what would happen if you did it in the other scene as well. Okay, that just opens the, uh, unlocks that one door. Rough, rough, rough. Now this one will make you fall on the stage. And if you did it in the earlier scene, you would have to jump across the crowd and waste time to get back to where you were. So, we want to get on the stage. And oh man, I forgot to cast some spells, didn't I? Oh, we might die real quick here. So this is the Dirt Dragon. Okay, he hits real hard. And wow, we need to cast spells fast. We want to cast Float. On everyone. That's why. Uh oh, magnitude 8. See, it misses the people that are floating. Earth spells miss anyone that's floating, so you want to get... This Dirt Dragon's all about Earth magic, so... Kinda want to take care of that. Double cast. Alright. You can just melee it. And I'm gonna show off Care 3. Okay, everyone's floating. 50 G's. Oh, apparently that dispels, uh... And also it knows Horn Tusk. So even if you can, um... Stop the, uh... Earth attacks, it still hits very hard with this Horn Tusk and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and reapply all this. Also, I didn't know it could dispel float. In fact, I've never seen it dispel, dispel float before. So this is a new thing. In any case. Oh, here comes Quake. This is what Quake does. A lot of damage. Despite the fact that Quake hits everyone, it does not hurt the dragon. He just it misses him as if he was floating. Oh yeah, why am I doing moves? Let's do moves. There we go. Didn't do, do, do all nines, but it was still a lot of damage. But yeah, this, this boss also had one other move, but it didn't use it, which kind of looked... I'm not sure how to describe it. And we got a Bacchus Rod. Five dragons left. Looks like we're going to have to save the day once again. Looks like... oh. Thank goodness. Well, that's taken care of. 
But, and now's my mouse on the screen. Here, heal everyone up with Cure 3. So there we go, Dragon taken care of, and we got the Magus Rod, so let's take a look at that. Magic power up. Increases magic power by 7. Also gives you a lot of M block, which is awesome. So we'll give this to her. Good stuff. Would you like to have the Pearl Rod? Apparently not. Alright, off we go. So, we've killed four dragons? No, we've killed three dragons. So there's five left. Alright, next stop. Let's go to... Uh, do I really want to go to Zozo? No, I don't. Let's head down here. I don't even know what's down here. Hey, it's Amasa. Yeah, we're back. It's like old times. Time to relax. Home sweet home. Grandpa! This is terrible. Gungho's hurt. G gungho Gungho, wake up. Who did this to you? It was Hidon, the beast you and I used to hunt. I almost had it. You took on Hidon? Ugh, cough, cough. G Gunho! Strago, please, you must avenge me. Oh, cough, cough. Gramps, why are you hesitating? Well... I spent my youth chasing that creature. To do it again at this age is more than I bargained for. Come on, rest easy. I'll do it for you. Grandpa! Just a minute. You don't think you're g going alone, do you? I spent too many years of my life hunting that thing. It is my obsession, not yours. But Grandpa, this obsession of yours could easily slay you. You're my grandfather. I can't just sit idly by and watch you go. Sorry, Realm. I'm so grateful that you care. But as its name implies, the hit-on is extremely difficult to find. Unless I go alone, it will not show itself. Next stop, Ebbut's Rock. Phew. Together. Can't go in here, it's locked. And pretty much most of the guys say all the same things. That's all, blah blah blah. Looks like a fish. Doom Gaze does not look like a fish. I completely forgot about this little plot line with Strago, but uh, there's not much else to say about it. It mentions you have to have him alone, but I don't remember if that's the case or not. For the first time in 50 years, Ebbets Rock is above water. Head north of town if you want to see it. After the end of the world, I awoke all alone in Doma Castle. When I would try to sleep there, uh, to sleep there, demons would come for me. Oh, I don't want to remember that. Make note of the uh, Doma Castle. He. That's also another plot line, which involves some sleeping there. But we can't do that yet until we get Scion. Hey, what's up? It's only been a year since the world changed, but it feels like forever. Oh, well, nothing much to say here. And I can't read your book. But apparently reading that book made my frame rate jump, so I shall never read again. Sure, let's go to sleep. Alright, Strago didn't do any sort of running off or anything like that.
Anything here? Ah, the Da Vinci brush. I don't even know what it does, but I'll take it. And nothing else of importance. Let's take a look at the Da Vinci brush. Why the hell not? Yeah, there's no real reason to use the uh, brush, I don't. Which just kind of sucks, because I would like to use a brush. Dark hood, diamond light robe, diamond vest. Okay, it's not that useful. Alright, well, done with that. Now, if you don't actually go and talk, go to the town with Strago or whatever, you will not be able to see this cave here. Oh yes, this place. Alright, here's the mechanic. I'm hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Feed me. Otherwise, I won't let you buy. I like to eat coral. Have any? Hand over some coral. Sure. You must have more than uh, than one of those. So, we're kind of stuck here. And teleport us back for no reason. And you got a bunch of these things. You got Slatters and Warlocks and Elands and other things. Here, has some flare. I've actually never really used Flare a lot, because a lot of times when I had, by the time I had Flare, I already had uh, Ultima. So getting him Bahamut early definitely gives me a slight advantage. Alright, now we're in a different area. Yeah, we're in different areas now. So we gotta go find Coral. Which you have to find in chest. And then feed it to him, and you need to feed him a lot. It's actually rather annoying. But this uh, boss fight that we'll be doing um, will have a move that Strago can o that can learn um, that you can only learn from the boss. A piece of crawl, wonderful. And the chests do restock. So you just constantly cycle over and over again and get as much coral as possible. It's nice when I can hit 6,000 with normal attacks. piece of coral. Wonderful. If you actually take a look here, you can actually see, uh... Yeah, okay, it doesn't tell you how many. It just says a piece of coral. Oh. Splayer, huh? It's dead. much to say about these enemies, especially if you actually take the time to level up. Two pieces of coral. Yay, profit. Now all I need to get Selyse is the offering and then she'll be set for life. Hey, warp stones. We'll never need those. I head this way. Five pieces of coral. That's better. Two pieces of coral. So the teleports are completely random, so I might as well just take the closest one. Heck, this one took me to the same place.
I'm hoping that some of these enemies actually have moves, but I'm apparently killing them way too quickly. No biggie. And don't worry, I will be using some of the other characters eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, that was me messing up. I get pre attacks a lot. So, I just killed them. Like so. Lots of warp stones. Give me the chest. Three pieces of coral. Okay, well, it's nice I'm getting all this coral, but I kinda need to get out of this place now. Two pieces of coral. Three pieces of coral. Okay, can I please get back to where I'm supposed to be? Okay, that's a save point. You know what? I will use your save point and raise you a get me out of this place. Hey, it's a cluck. Tell you what. You can get hit with bolt 2, then fire 2. X magic is a little bit slower, so that's why I'm able to take actions first. I was looking for. Now, if you don't have enough, he'll send you off, but he'll keep track of the number. Blurp. Phew. Oh yeah, you want to pass through here, right? Eh? What the? Gonna heal you up. With inefficient magic. That's hit on? That's not hit on. That's a hippocampus. But nice try. Here, get hit with that. Okay, that didn't work. Oh well, just keep attacking. Strago leveled. Hit on, hit the knights. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the minions first, because I want this boss to actually use a spell.
Train train. This is what we wanted to get hit by. Does okay damage, and you can learn it. So we now know it, so I can go ahead and go all out. And just in case, I'll go ahead and heal everybody. For a lot more than I need to. Yep, 6,000. Not too tough. The Grand Train could be a bit de deadly if you did, like, I don't know, if you got, like, the airship. Actually, you would have to do, if you went, got the airship, got Realm, got Strega, and then went straight to here, you might have some trouble. Learn Grain Chain. I did it! I, I, I actually beat Hit On. I have to tell Gung Ho he, he is avenged. Gung Ho! Gung Ho! What's all the hula, hula baloo? Listen to me, I defeated Hit On. You what? You be beated Hit On? You're lying. Lying! No, he's not. He really defeated Hit On. Ho oh, ho. If, if I didn't know better, I'd say that Hit On wasn't my only enemy. I don't believe this. This has to be a joke. Ho ho ho. By the way, how are your wounds healing, Gun Ho? Eh? Oh, they're fine. That evening. There I was, in a cave that seemed endless, then before I knew it, Hidon appeared. I stared Hidon straight in the eye, lifted my staff, and let him have it. Kapow! Black! Crash! You weren't using a staff, you were using a da a dirk a dagger thing. I wanted to show him show my enemy the true meaning of the word hero. And then What happened to Grandpa? Huh? Finally. Finally he nodded off. However, let's uh, let him be. He's nice and quiet. Now about my wounds. Wait, first let me thank you. You gave Grandpa a reason to go and defeat something that had tormented him for decades. Even if you were faking that creature meant business. What a granddaughter what a granddaughter he's raised. Amazing. And what a terrible actor you are. Only Strago uh, could have been taken in by that performance. What the So now we know... Grand Train. Mortal damage pierces enemy's defenses. Pretty useful because it goes through defenses. Then again, everything, every lore spell pretty much goes through defenses, I believe. So that's done. But I feel like I'm missing something. Let's talk to you. Everything okay? I guess so. That was easy. I'm a little curious. Just gonna check something. Eh, just harpies. Alright, where to go next? mind something quick and easy, but I'm kind of running out of those. There's Delma Castle, but there's no point in going there. Alright, I know where we can go. We're going to this place. This place is where I used to grind for spell points, uh, back in the World of Balance. Now, this place has something different. It has the Zone Eater. Which is going to hit us with a bunch of attacks. Now, 
this guy's actually pretty tough, like, tough and as endurable, but other than that, he's a kind of a pushover. But, um, you're not supposed to kill him. Tell you what, I'll attack you with this guy. Cold dust. You best be frozen. Engulf! Munch, munch. So yes, he can eat you. Doesn't really kill you though. You know what, just stay there. Okay, come on guy, you gotta eat me. Engulf, thank you. He usually eats a lot faster than this. Also, I probably should have taken Mog with me, because I don't want to deal with all the encounters here. But okay. And you probably heard my MSN. I apologize. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about anything, because Strago's, uh, can't move. I think at this point, if you just kill Strago, that'll be... Oh, it actually removed the Frozen. I did not know Demi can do that. Now that light up there is the way out. You can actually make this, make it spit you out. So right now we're inside the zone eater. Let me guess. Oh no, okay, good. I have the charm bangle, so I'll equip that. At least reduce the encounters a little bit. And this place has... You got these guys. And what you can do... What you're supposed to do is avoid them. Get into the armor. If you don't, they knock you down here. And you have to restart the entire process again. But there's treasures down here too, so... Hey, a red jacket. Alright, let's go through the list. Red Jacket houses Legendary Grappler Spirit. It's for Edgar and Sabin. Uh, I think Resistance to Fire, and lots of stats. And then the Genji Armor. Good all around. So you know what? You can have the Genji Armor. And bam, you got yourself 105 Vigor now. So you want to fall down here at least once. Garo T. I don't even know what that is. But you're dead. I have to say, it is refreshing to be able to, like, grind out levels and it'll actually make a different, a huge difference here. It didn't so much in Genius's half Rose. Grinding power did, but not experience. Magical brush. That sounds a little bit more useful. Let's take a look. Mm, it's okay. It's probably not as good as what I already have, though. Nope, it isn't. Okay, move out of the way. Okay, other way. Oh, that's not good. Damn you! Tap dancer! And ninjas. Oh, and these things are not wind slash.
go. Apparently you cannot le learn Wind Slash. That's okay. Yeah, she's gonna have to hit the switch every time. Alright, let's continue with this. Up here. Up there. Ah, I'm an idiot. Why'd I go that far? Come on, I want to at least get this place done. Then I'll, I will never have to come back here again. Much like most places. Oh, close one. Okay, stop fidgeting, stop fidgeting. There you go. Run. Oh my god. I gotta get somehow down here and then... Screw it, you're all dead. Bolt. Ice. Die. Disappear. I think what disappear does is it's an attack, but it also makes them invisible. If I remember right. Yeah, got one of them dead. And these guys are actually kind of tough. They can... They have over 4,000 HP, and some of them do. And I can jump across here, get the fake mustache. And I don't remember anything about the fake mustache. Ah! This is for Realm. It allows you to switch the sketch into control. I'm not gonna bother using it, because sketch is useless. Alright, out of here. Hey, a warp puck. And an ogre. And a zombite. No, a miscolored... Ba Moogle. Great, we're gonna have to deal with freaking zombie stuff. But, I have 45 for 5 for 5 at this point, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, jeez. You can actually die here. You wanna know how? That. That can kill you. So make note of the spots. There's openings. There's Zephyr Capes. Smash. If you get it wrong, if you get smashed, you die. It's game over. And you hear a ring. Yep, dead. So, just like that. Tech Star is like one of the best, is the strongest star in the game. Unfortunately, you can only get one, so it's not that important. I never remember how many spaces this is. So I'm just gonna make a break for it. And then we can go grab the chest on the way back. Like this. Yoink. Text star. Bye. And you head down here. And you got more stuff. I'm gonna jump. Can't jump there. I'm gonna jump up here. Then you can jump here. Get ourselves a nice little shortcut here. Jump here. Go over here. Get the chest. Get Thunder Shield. Thunder Shield's pretty self explanatory, but I'll go ahead and show it off anyway. Thunder Shield, not high stats, but it does. Absorbs Thunder. It, you're weak to. Oh, never mind. Source Thunder Element. Take 50% damage from, it looks like, per, uh, Holy and Fire, and no effect from Wind. And you can learn Bolt 2 from it. It also gives pretty good uh, M block and so forth. So you know what? You can have it. Thunder Shield. Ah, 
we are. Shrouded in odd clothing, is this a man, a woman, or should we ask? Go, go. I am Gogo, master of the Simma Sumu Okrum. My miming skills will astonish you. Yes, I have been idle for too long. If I deem you worthy, I'll mime your actions in battle. But first, you must tell me what you're doing here. What an unusual tale. But I sense that you're trying to help make things right again. This should be fine. When do we leave? And there you go. And let's use a warp stone for a change of pace. And there we go. We got Gogo. -Go. And we'll talk about Gogo -Go next time. Let's go ahead and call this a video. I am The Depressed Eeyore, and this was Final Fantasy VI. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.